The disabled community has been thrown a funding lifeline, but it won't mean the controversial restrictions announced last week will be lifted. Meanwhile, in an extraordinary move, Cabinet has ordered it will now sign off the Ministry's major funding decisions. Here's political reporter Amelia Wade. Dr Rebecca Graham feels it in her body when she watches her daughter have seizures. It's terrifying. It is just absolutely horrifying. Massages helped immensely. It released all that tension that you're holding in your body. Uh, and it was just, you know, it's not a lot of money. It's 80 bucks. She's frustrated at the Disability Issues Minister reasoning for restricting funding last week. The funding has also been used for massages, overseas travel, pedicures, um, haircuts for carers. We asked the Minister's office for evidence about this claim. They said that they didn't have any numbers, but the Minister had heard it anecdotally. The Minister began today ducking away from reporters. Minister, can we speak to you? Before fronting for a double down. Do you think that claiming massages as a respite is inappropriate? Put funding guidelines in place to manage the sustainability of a very large fund of public money. How can you think that about carers? How can you think that we're being careless and disreputable and looking after our well-being. After blindsiding the disabled community with changes last week, the minister and her ministry, Faikaha, have both had their ability to make major decisions taken off them and given to Cabinet. What we want to make sure is that any serious major change to frontline services does come before Cabinet. In this case it didn't. Uh, it was uh, poorly consulted and poorly communicated and uh, it's right that she apologised for it as did the Ministry. That's an extraordinary step to take, basically saying that a Minister's not able to make decisions in their own portfolio without going to the whole of Cabinet. It's a massive vote of no confidence in Penny Simmons. Well, I think she's doing a great job. Cabinet has also agreed to give the struggling agency more money in a pre-budget commitment. We don't know how much the top-up is, but it won't mean restrictions are lifted. Because even uh, with the additional funding, there is still a real risk of them running out of funding. After repeated requests for an interview with the CEO of Faikaha last Friday, we were finally granted one. But ten minutes before, it was cancelled, we were told, because of urgent meetings. It hasn't been rescheduled. That evening, it released a video. We know that the way in which we went about announcing these changes caused stress and anxiety. And for that, I am sorry. An apology that could have been easily avoided. Amelia Wade, NewsHub.